taking my cello tape out. Welcome to Tuesday Night Live. And what we're preparing for is tomorrow we're doing, um, I'm just doing something slightly different to what we've done previously. So just getting something ready here for you. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Where are we? I'm getting something ready. We're going to actually go and visit YouTube today. We're going to visit YouTube to see what, I'm going to get it ready, math toys, math toys, <gasps> math toys, oh dear, oh dear. I, when it does that, I never know what to do. It does something different. <laughs> it does something different every day, doesn't it? That's, oh, here we go. Brilliant. And and look up the videos, yay. Now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to share the screen. First of all, I'll see what I've got here. We're just going to share. Right, so we're going to do lots of paper stick stuff. So we're going to start off by making a paper stick again. I'm going to take you through the, the, the two videos that we need for tomorrow. And while I take them, I'll grab the URL and copy them to you so you know what on earth I'm going on about every time I do this. And I'm just going to quickly share. I'm going to do the sharey thing so that we have a um, watch party. That's it, a watch party. Start a watch party. Got the watch party going. And now also going to see if I can but it hasn't been working so that I can respond because I sometimes get messages on the actual group and I don't see them and I get quite quite upset really that I that the people have bothered to make a comment and I don't get to see it so I'm keep on doing my best to make that happen and we'll just see what happens so I'm now going to share the screen did I say that no, I didn't. Wrong thing. Um, right, sorry. Nearly ready, nearly there. Get ready to make six. So while we're waiting, while we're waiting, flashing hands everywhere. String. Scissors. Ideally, if you've got young children, make them child safe. I use these because they're just really good and it helps me out while I'm doing this. Paper and sticky tape. That's what you need, scissors, paper, lots of paper the same size, string and scissors and string and sticky tape and paper. You can use um, normal sheets of paper, you can halve them or you can just use the newspaper, just make sure they're all the same size. That is what super, super matters. And um, right, okay. Do believe, I do believe that I can do it. Here I am, and now we're going to share. So welcome again to, I'm Caroline from Bubbly Maths presenting these live sessions using the AIMSEC resources that are on the Aiming High website. And these resources are intended, and initially they were intended and they still are, for teachers that have to teach in disadvantaged areas, really dedicated teachers that attend the AIMSEC courses for professional development as maths teachers. And these resources were written initially to help them, provide them with, with lessons, with ideas for lessons that are really rich, that are fun, that are, that are good to engage with, that help the children learn much more much better through doing something through engagement so these are for you because now what's been done is with um, um not me but people at aimsec have written home learning resources in addition to the um to the the teacher resources so that's what i'm doing here and now i'm going to share the screen I'm going to start with making paper sticks because this is all about making lots of paper sticks. Now I'm going to make one paper stick, but between now and tomorrow morning, I will have made eight 
15 paper sticks in addition to the ones I already have. So I'm using newspaper. Waste not, want not. Now you can use scrap paper, you can use normal paper if you like, just as long as we make the paper sticks. So what I'm doing is folding, the, they all want to be the same size. So make sure you have 18 or 20 sheets of paper that are all the same size. Now I'm folding it over nice and carefully once and then twice. Oh, what a counter. And um, fold them nice and carefully so that they always come out the same size. Then we're going to fold it in thirds. Fold one third across so that it halves the bit that isn't folded. That is the trick to folding in thirds and then folding that one over. It doesn't have to be exact. That part's only going to be rolled up anyway. Then we're going to get a piece of string. Now these bits of string want to be nice and long so you've got plenty at the end to, to, to um, tie with. And if you want to tie them in, in, in like a rib, like ribbon, like shoelaces, so that they can be unpulled and pulled them down again afterwards, if you do that, then you will have, um, you'll be able to reuse them. What we're aiming at is to minimize waste. And I've just got my cellar tape all in a nice in a knot. So let's do that again without the cellar tape going in a knot. And at the same time, we're not using the end of the tape. There we go. And, and I've lost the tape completely now. We're taping that on there so that when you pull the, the string, it doesn't pull right out of your paper stick. Fold them over and roll them up. Now we need 18 of these for tomorrow's tomorrow's activity. That activity will be at nine o'clock in the morning London time. Of course, you can always catch it on the replay. And now I've got to drag this one down on the floor and I've probably lost the end. Oh, there it is. If you're very lucky, it's not stuck too hard. And trying to wrap that around like that. And that way it can't get stuck. Okay. Make sure if you are using scissors, if you're young, make sure you have someone with you to make sure you're safe. The scissors can cause nasty injuries. Okay, we need about 18 of these. I've already got a few, but I'm going to make 18 tonight so that we've got plenty in the morning and I've always got extras because these are really useful to so many ideas to do mass activities. Now, that's the paper stick. Now I'm going to share the other screen. So stop sharing this one, I think. Or can I? I think, yeah, if I stop sharing and then I, hello, how are you? Now I'm going to share the one. Oh, it's this one. Mm, I'm confused now. Oh, I, can, I can get rid of that. Am I sure? Oh, hello. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. There you go. That's what I wanted. Now, you're going to actually see the Maths Toys YouTube channel. There it is. And this is going to be super useful for this week because we're going to, first of all, we're going to have the instructions for making paper sticks. So please do go to Maths Toys and um, let's see how I get the, the button here. Oh, crikey. Do I actually need all of that? Well, copy that. There we go. Didn't know if there's a, a quick way of doing it. So now I'm going to go to the post where you are. Look at this. This is the behind the scenes. This is. I'm not, there we go. Yeah, that's it. There it is. There it is. Oh, my, oh, my. Woo. We've got all these lovely messages that popped up. I had cleared them all off. And then it, <laughs> that's because people have sent messages. Go away. Okay, this isn't, this isn't actually quite working the way I was hoping it would. Let's go over here. So let's see if I can do it over here. Oh, I never started the watch party. Here we go. Well, I'll put that tab in there, tab in there and start the watch party. There goes the watch party. Now, let's see if I can do it here. Well, I've still got these silly messages I really don't want. They're probably not silly messages, but <laughs> I really had cleared those Right, this is not successful. Is it stop share? 
Now let's see what I've got on this screen. Let's get the screen to where I want it. And I'm very confused. More confused than I can say. Oh, that's that's because that's the watch party. Now I get it. <laughs> There's me. I had a bright idea, lovely bright idea, and is this it? Is this the live? This is the live. Okay, now I've got the live full screen. Okay, I think we're good. We've got the live full screen, and now I'm going to put it in the comments. Okay. So I can put the watch party back on. I hope it's going to work. Not the watch party, the screen share. I think I've got the correct screen now. Um, no, it's this one. This one there. I think it might be this. I hope. Anyway, I'm going to do it in here. That is the YouTube um, with the instructions now. That's the, the instruction video that you can play again and again and again on YouTube. And now we're going to go back. I'm going to grab the one for tomorrow morning's activities, which is this one, tets and ox, which sounds a bit odd, but it means tetrahedra and octahedra. And it's all about similarities and differences between tetrahedra and octahedra. So you've got to make them in order to benefit from them. Now let me see if, I, if there's anywhere I can share it. I guess I can grab this URL here. I'll just grab this one. That'll save going into the video and that'll save a little bit of time perhaps. Uh, that's the watch party. That one won't do. This is the one. This is the one. And there is the video for, this is, this is, I had this bright idea. I'm always having these bright ideas, aren't I? About um, how to make it more interesting for you instead of just adding and clearly there's a conversation going on over here and I don't know how to mute those conversations so now mm, there's one more thing and that is I'm going to go from YouTube and I'm going to go to Aiming High this is the Aiming High website where all the resources exist and so what you can do what you can do on here is you can keyword research. So let's see. I want to. I have a. Mm, let me see. I don't even know. Is there something on times tables? Let's see if there's a resource on here. Here we go. Shifting times tables. So there's activities that you can do on times tables. That's so years six, seven to nine. But usually there's something that you can do. You can modify it to bring it lower or higher. So, and then besides, these activities are rich activities, which means they're low threshold, high ceiling, most of them, which means that you can take them and you can go higher than, than you take them further, or you can also find ways of, of approaching them from, a, from starting at a lower level. Basically, you start where you're comfortable and then you stretch up to, you know, past your learning point so you get to get to a proper learning point get to where you, 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 you you're learning something and then you stretch that little bit just so that you've expanded every time you do an activity now what else might we have we might have a question on place value let's see if we've got something on place value whoops if you spell it right it might help place of allow we, there's, i don't know why there's nothing on place of allow Let's see if there's something on, there you go. Lower secondary place value and decimals. Well, there you go, something about decimals. And what about fractions? So you can have a look on here and find ideas for, and these are, are activities which are interesting, engaging, they'll get you, get you in, involved. This isn't setting, well, what half times three quarters. It's games, there's lots of games on here as well. And so now I'm going to look for Tetanox, that one, Tetanox, I've clearly searched for it before. The little bots, the little thingy doobries remembered what I've searched for before. And that hasn't activated, I didn't do the right thing there. There we go. Now I'll go into there and grab that and put that in the post in this one. This is the one. We've still got that message from Phoebe, bless her. 
I do not know how to silence that. So I'll just do this very, very quickly. And you've now got all of those in there and I will stop screen share. There we go. Ah, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And now what I'm gonna do is one more screen share with, if I can manage it with the actual resource, which I believe is here. So you won't have messages showing up because this is still there. Let's maximize that. I'm going to now have to find out another new thing to learn, how to silence messages on Facebook. Learn how to silence them and put them back on again so that they don't pop up. I thought I'd got rid of them all. Right, so this is what we're doing tomorrow. We're going to make 18 paper sticks. Then we're going to make the two puzzles that seem too much there. I could have gotten, yeah, and then we could, you can make more puzzles. It's got lots of ideas for making different puzzles. So it's all about making puzzles. So it's fun. And in the process, you will learn an awful lot about solids, about geometry, about visualization about problem solving and hopefully get some ideas to create your own puzzles and go from there. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. So scissors, sticky tape, paper that's all the same size and string. This is just packaging string. Thread won't do it. Wool, you might get away, but it's got to be quite strong. If you pull it, it mustn't break. And I'll see you in the morning. And of course, you can always replay this. If you um, are on YouTube, please do uh, subscribe and, um, and hit the notification bell on the Maths Toys YouTube channel and also on the Bubbly Maths YouTube channel. That's where all these lives are being uploaded to. I'll stop the share now. And um, and then also, if you like the, the, these lives, please share them. I know they're a bit, they're a bit, they're very, very much about, like me, a bit scatterbrained. But the videos on the YouTube Maths Toys channel are quite structured. So if if scatterbrain, you want to structure and, and to the point, the ones on the Maths Toys channel are to the point. And they're all backing up the resources on the on the um, Aiming High website. The um, so yes, please do share these lives and share the group. Let people know about the group if you find it useful. Let um, put a post on on your Facebook profile, perhaps. And then the other really valuable thing, and I can actually put this straight in because I know the URL to this, and that's um, if it's the the aim. AIMSEC Facebook page. Now on the group there are, we're now sharing the, um, hold on, AIMSEC, just let me get just one thing at a time. <laughs> I forgot to write YouTube on um, Facebook. I'm now into changing Facebook and YouTube.com forward slash AIMSEC SA, boom. On that, on that page, Facebook page, you will find lots of memes. So if you've just got a moment where you think, oh, right, I'm kind of stuck. I want to stop doing this and I want to start doing that, but I really want to get my brain going. Just go onto the AIMSEC Facebook page and there's lots of little memes to choose from that are just ideas just to get your brain. You don't have to get your brain going. You don't have to solve them, just little puzzles. You don't have to solve them, but the, but the process of looking at them, understanding them and attempting them will wake up your brain. So that's a really good way. It could be like called a starter or something like that. And then if you want to pursue it, you can make a copy of it or, or just remember it or keep going back to it until you have actually solved it. And if you put comments on it, you might even get some hints. If you have a good go at something, then you might get some somebody coming back to you with some hints to help you solve it. And well, you will, not you might, you will get someone coming back with hints to help you solve it. So let me just see if anybody has come to say hello. So Terry's joined us, that's wonderful. Terry, I always can rely on Terry because I get messages after saying, right, next time you've got to less hand waving and, and I get all comments. I've got, um, I've got my, my new whiteboard pens so that we get 
better colours and more solid ness, ness, ness quality ones. And I've got more coming tomorrow that are the thick, thick ones as well. So, and let's see what if we lose what visitors. Oh my goodness. Talk about wittering. Ooh, lips and brain joint work together. Terry, hello, Russell. Rod from South Africa. I don't know where Russell is based, but I know Rod is in Cape Town. Tommy Templeton, thank you so much for joining us. And I will stop the live now. Thank you for coming. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning for seven to 18 year olds. So we are going to you need your sticks, get your sticks ready. And then 10 o'clock tomorrow morning will be the early years. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing there because it's quite hard for the early years to use the sticks. I'll maybe talk about the sticks, but I might come up with something else as well so that it can be done on the, on, on the fly, as it were, with, with grown-ups and children if they haven't sat and made loads of sticks because for the early years, it has to be the grown-ups making the sticks or if you have older siblings at home. So, and then tomorrow night, eight o'clock, we'll be introducing whatever it is we're doing on Thursday. Thank you for joining and see you tomorrow. Caroline from Bubbly Maths signing.